Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you have been watching uh, some of my recent videos, you will know that my sister sent me a little box with a challenge in it. Now the reason being is my sister and my brother-in-law, they have their own small business making jewellery. And it's very special jewellery in both me and my sister are allergic to earrings. You know, we're um, the products that they use in a lot of earrings, it just gives us an allergic reaction. So um, about a year or so ago, in fact, maybe even two years now, they decided to start creating um, jewellery that my sister would be able to use. And it kind of grew from there. They do some stunning work. Uh, my brother-in-law was a graphic designer um, and some of the stuff that they do, um, they've, they've got two sites, is stunning. Um, they've got a new line of earrings that have come in, which are these beautiful hearts. I fell in love with them. Um, and I actually brought some for a friend who loves earrings. And I thought, those are amazing. She's going to absolutely love those. And she did. So my sister has sent me some loose versions of um, so obviously it doesn't have the earring part of it. It's just the crystal and said, there you go. There's a challenge for you. Go see if you can come up with a design um, for this crystal. So that is what I am doing. I loved this set. I loved designing it. I loved creating it. I love the crystal. I'm not going to lie, I did kind of crap myself a little bit of, I need to do this crystal some serious justice because it is stunning. Um, and yes, I am plugging my sister here. You know, in these times, small businesses are feeling the pressure. How big businesses are feeling the, the pressure. Um, I love the stuff that my sister produces. And in all of my videos, there is always a link to her jewellery store. Um, and in fact, both of them, there's one which is um, UK Hypoallergenics. Um, and there is also Cat Logic, which is more for like the wedding bands, things like that. Um, so both links are in the description. They do ship to America. In fact, they do a lot of custom to America. Um, so anybody who's watching this, please go and take a look. Um even if, you know, you say, no, nope, don't want to buy anything now, just some foot traffic on the website. Um, it, it's just great and it really helps their business. So I don't normally plug it, but I'm going to, as I've got this challenge anyway, it gives me a perfect opportunity to help my sister and my brother-in-law. And I genuinely love their products. They are the only earrings that I ever get to wear that do not cause an allergic reaction on me. Um, and they have such a range of them as well, which I really, really like. I have earrings for every occasion. Um, <laughs> the only issue I've got with these these new ones they've bought in, oh my God, all of the colours that they've got are so... I, I just cannot decide <laughs> what which ones I want. I'm like, I, I could just buy all of them, to be honest. Uh, whereas my friend who I got the earrings for, she was she likes particular colours. So I was like, yeah, OK, I know what I'm going to go for. So this is this is quite a long design, which I've shortened because obviously when we're doing crystal designs, it always takes a little bit longer. The colours that I'm using today are both from Moira. The first one is called Bellagio. And the lighter colour that I'm coming in here with is called Sio Sio San. I don't know if that's how you pronounce either one of those, but I'm going with it. So, uh, so as you can see, the, the pinky and the thumb, they are just a full nail of the Bellagio. I think it, oh, I, I give up pronouncing. Just go with it. Um, it's quite simple. You can see what I'm doing on this design. I'm ombre in these two colours together. Then I'm coming in with some crystallina webbing from Smiley's Glitter Store, which is called Aztec. Again, Smiley's is a small um, internet-based business. I will put the link to them in the description as well. They are a fantastic store for just 
different things um, and they are so helpful as well so you know if you're looking for any products please give them a shout um, check out what they've got if if you have any questions at all um, Sarah is so helpful as well on that um, so yeah I'm all for the small businesses and definitely helping them out um, at these times so I have just stuck on just a small bit over the jaw, uh, the blend of those two colours. Now, when this shifts in the light, you will see how amazing this is. And then what I'm doing here, I'm just putting in just three silver. Um, I think these are the two mil caviar beads. Um, I'm just putting a small, small wash of acrylic over the top, which I would do anyway, because before I cap these, I always like to just fill in any of the negative space. I don't know if that's the right term, actually. I don't know. It sounds good. Let's go with it. Um, <laughs> before I come along and cap, like I do with glitters, that's that's what I mean. Um, whether it's fabrics or it's glitters or whatever, I always do a little uh, wash over um, just to get in all those nooks and crannies, um, which doesn't sound as posh, really, does it? <laughs> so I've let that set and I have capped all of those. I filed them um, and I am coming in. This is Nao Nails um, Acra Gel and it's called Clear As... It's Clear Deer? I think that's what it's called. Um, I put on way too much. Well, no, what I did, I put on two little to start with. Then I had to add some more to it. <laughs> then I wiped too much of it down and now I'm pushing it back up. Um, I am just using a bit of uh, gel cleanse on my brush because if this starts to get sticky, you just need to wet your brush, but not overly wet it. Like wet it and then dab it kind of thing. Uh, because I'm these are it's a big crystal and what the design I'm doing around it is a big crystal, I will use Acro Gel. I also won't cap it as high, um, you know, where the apex is as I would normally do on a long nail. The reason it, this this is solid. Like this is acrogel. This this is bigger than the apex you're gonna have on there. You you don't need to if you add a lot big apex and then you add this on top, it looks humongous and you don't want it to look like that. So you do have to kind of judge your crystal placement before. Now as you can see on this gem, there is a hole right in the middle. That's obviously where the earring part goes in. So what I did, I got a small little gem and I actually stuck it in there with some chi gel before I started this design. Now, it's not actually a really prominent pointy back, actually. It, it's not. Yeah, I mean, you, you'll see me turning it around. You'll see some different side angles. So you can see the height that we're looking at here. Um. And I wanted that, oh my God, it's just beautiful. Even as I'm looking at it now, I'm just going, oh my God, I love it. Um, I'm so distracted, I'm sorry. There's just shiny things at me and I'm just like, it's just beautiful. Um, <laughs> these are genuine Swarovski. Uh, in fact, all the crystals I am using today are Swarovskis and I believe all of them actually came from Blue Streak Crystals. So Blue Streak, again, is a small um, company that deals with supplying gems and it's the one that my sister uses uh because they they just give the right size for the for the items that they make um i tend to use blue streak or i use scatter crystals they tend to be my main ones pointies i tend to go for blue streak if i just want big wholesale flat backs um then i will tend to go scatter crystals um yeah that's just my my preference um now, the heart-shaped one is called Bermuda Blue, and it's a 10 millimeter Swarovski. Sorry, I've taken the finger away while I saw all of this lot out. Um, and that is just curing in the lamp for 60 seconds, uh, just to make sure that that is fully cured in there. Obviously, because there's plenty of light around that, because now I'm going to come and fill it in. If I had pushed loads of crystals around that then I would have given it a double cure so oh my god I can't <laughs> two minutes <laughs> I'll give it a two minute cure oh my god Shona um 
now I'm coming in with some more of these um, caviar beads just to kind of fill around the edge. So it doesn't need a lot. And the idea of the caviar beads on this was more to kind of frame the heart because I wanted it to pop. Um, so, yeah, I've got two clear crystals going on in the back section. One is a round and one is a square. Hmm. Don't ask me what size they are because I genuinely cannot remember. I think the squares were three millimetre. Um, and I, yeah, and then the large one at the back, I think, was a topaz. The problem is, is I put them all in these lovely containers, which is great for getting them out. I didn't label that blue one. Um... So, yeah, I'm, I'm now trying to think what it was. Um, but, yeah, I had a right fight with these to try and get them um, to stay where they are. So I'm flash curing them to get them to stay. So with my caviar beads, I put a blob of top coat on my glass um, mat and then I pour some of the caviar beads in it so it kind of coats them in the top coat for two purposes. One, it makes it easier to get them to sit where you want them to because, of course, it sticks. Second of all, caviar beads do need to be capped in top coat. Crystals, you do not. It will take the shine off. It will ruin them. Do not do it. But caviar beads do because otherwise they will tarnish so when I come to top coat these, I will get my little brush there. And not only do I make sure I go around all of the crystals, I do actually top coat over the top as well on those caviar beads just to seal them in even better. Please excuse the state of my nails because I was playing with some new Christmas foils that have arrived. And as I seem to be having a bit of a fun with foils at the moment, I thought I'll just have a little practice on myself before I do my set. I know. <laughs> bit of fun there so now I'm just going to come along and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side now after this I did decide that I wanted a little bit more on the top section so you'll see in the next picture well the next part of the video I have added some on top of there <laughs> I know I'm allowed to change my mind occasionally only occasionally but to me now the reason I call this video the heart of the ocean is does Anybody remember that whacking great diamond that she's wearing in Titanic? Yeah, the one on Rose's neck, the one they're all trying to find. I saw that heart and that is what popped into my head. So there you go. Hopefully this video won't sink. Um, <laughs> won't be a disaster. But right moving on to the best part which is the top coat which is of course the best part of any video it just oh that. no it's those crystals they are amazing absolutely amazing um oh shiny shinies and look at this webbing look at this look at that See what I love this stuff. I'm absolutely obsessed with Crystalina webbing. I have it in every single colour. It is amazing. So we are at the end of the video. Which leads me to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're all good um, at the moment. And yeah, thank you. I will see you in the next one. Bye.